what's going on everybody um, we are out here just north of Dayton in Green County I believe Green or Clark one of the two um, we're doing a job today that is well pretty intense as far as maturity wise goes um, this is all honeysuckle um, this is all 12 to 15 foot 18 foot some of it um, pretty mature honeysuckle you can see this <laughs> this is pretty much the entire entire understory in here um, we got some trees marked here in pink some of these bigger ones we're gonna be leaving um, there's not much there's not much to leave honestly uh, there's some mulberry scattered in there um but we're gonna be out here probably for about three days um we got about close to four to five acres to do um this one's more of a just a by the day job what we get done in eight hours um uh, type of job so you can see there's already a trail system in here thankfully um i can kind of scoop my way around and get to some of the back side of these units um, and kind of work with the honeysuckle uh, a lot of times it's a lot easier uh, the honeysuckle is, is kind of reaching or whatever it is um, is reaching towards the sunlight so it's a lot easier to get on the back side of it and kind of work with it instead of against it um, so that'll be helpful but again this is all this is some pretty mature stuff so we're going to come in uh, we're gonna get everything mulched down on this job in particular we're not gonna get stuff like super super fine our goal is just to get this stuff chopped down um, and get it on the ground and then come back through and do a pretty heavy um, probably two rounds of herbicide on this um, so that's a, a big thing that people don't want to spend the extra money to do the herbicide application or take the time to do it themselves um, but honestly, when it comes to this honeysuckle, most of this stuff, especially at this maturity, um, forestry mulchers are not killing this stuff permanently. Um, if you've ever cut honeysuckle or pretty much any invasive with a chainsaw, if you stump cut it, um, most of the time it's gonna grow back even with more sprouts, um, double or triple the sprouts it had before, unless you treat that stump with herbicide. Um, we're doing the same thing here with the forestry mulchers. Um, we're just able to set things back and that mulch layer on top does help shade some stuff out, um, but stuff is still gonna grow back through it. You can see, for example, this stump here has been cut probably, I mean, at least last year, maybe a year before that, and it's still sprouting out the base of it. Um, so that herbicide application is just super crucial. Um, just my my two cents on the matter uh, but it's just well worth it if you're gonna pay thousands of dollars to come in and forestry mulch um, you know just pay the the extra little bit of money to come in and do the herbicide application or just take the time to do it yourself and um, it's more of a it's a permanent long-term um, maintenance on these invasives so yeah we're gonna get started this is gonna be a fun one so I'm excited to, to get some uh, footage doing it and everything afterwards gonna look real cool. So all right guys, let's get to it
All right, guys. This is another section that we're working on here in the front yard. And this whole little buffer strip that kind of runs down to the road down there. Uh, you can see that they've kind of trimmed some of this back already. Um, but same stuff we're dealing with in the backyard. Just some real mature honeysuckle. Uh, we're going to take down some of these crooked mulberries as well. Um, but this whole, whole section wraps all the way down, down here. I'm going to try to work from the inside out just so we're staying off the grass in the front yard. It's a little wet out here, so I'm going to be as careful as we can. But you can see some of this stuff is pretty wicked. Um, got some Osage or hedge apple on the back back there that we're gonna leave we're gonna eventually cut those down for firewood um, but yeah you can see just I mean, <laughs> some of this stuff is 12 14 inches at the base just some old mature honeysuckle been here for a while so we're gonna thin all this out make it look real pretty uh, this area that we'll we'll mulch this up pretty fine just so it's in the front yard and make things look real good. But yeah, let's get started. guys we are all done with the front yard uh, yeah so you can see pretty <laughs> pretty drastic difference here uh, we had to do a lot of chainsaw work ended up having to cut some of this Osage orange um, just because it was this real nasty overhanging trimmed everything back um, got it about 10 to 12 feet up so everybody can walk underneath you can run a mower not getting hit in the face so yeah, you can see some of those bigger Osage uh, limbs that we cut down with the chainsaw, kind of um, ground off the, the smaller branches and stuck the, the bigger ones back here because he wants to use those for firewood. So yeah, you can see the road now. Everything looks real good. They're happy. So we're gonna move on. Um, to the back now just to kind of keep pushing that back but you can see we also did a section this is like 10 12 foot strip here on the edge on the other side of the yard I'm not gonna go all the way over there but you can see it just cleaned everything out underneath 
so they can get a mower under there. So yeah, pretty sweet, looks great. All right guys, we are finishing up day three here. Uh, you can see this whole section that we pushed all the way back to the fence line back there and push this little section back a little bit further for them. We ended up spending a little bit more time. Took out probably probably about 10 cedar trees that were all about like 10 to 12 inch diameter. Um, so that took a little bit of time, but not too long. So yeah, this whole section is done. We are gonna come back, do this fence line. You can see all the pink ribbon. We're gonna come back with the mini, rip all those out. Um, just kind of open up this whole section, get a good view uh, from the porch back there. And uh, yeah, the engine's revving up, so it's going to get loud. But uh, we're going to pack it up, get out of here. Another one done, on to the next one. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed.